This is Laura and Katie's video on the characteristics of trade and commerce in China. Barges filled with goods traveled down the river. Peasants sold crops and animals in town. Sometimes they sold items made at home, like silk, charcoal, and wine. At deposit shops, merchants took coins and gave people paper money in return. Paper money was light and a lot easier to carry than copper. Ships called junks were packed with silk, ceramics, sugar, and rice. These boats would soon go to places like Korea, Japan, Southeast Asia, India, East Indies, and Africa. In return, they would get indigo, spices, silver, ivory, and coral. This was Laura and Katie's video on characteristics of trade and commerce in China.